Hello, hello. Have you been thinking about how to have a really great birthday, a memorable birthday? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about in this episode. Hello, lovely dynamic women. I am Diane Rolston, your host. Welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. I'm a little bit under the weather today. <laughs> I've been fighting a cold. Must be all this traveling I've been doing. I was in Tokyo, Philippines, and now in Bali as we end, uh, we're ending our trip here, but today's my birthday and I love birthdays. Get to feel special um, for other people. I get to shower them with love and attention. And so today I just want to talk about a little bit about how you can have like the best birthday. What's the secret to the best birthday? And I was going to do the 45 things that I've learned this year, but I didn't really feel like talking about all 45. So I'm going to make that as a list that will be in the blog. And we'll maybe put a link to that in this so that you can go and check it out. And there are things I've learned over the past year, not everything I've learned, but quite a few of the things that I have learned. So if you are catching this on the podcast, you are missing out on the image that is behind me right now as I record this. So it's also going to be on the YouTube channel and we'll um, pop the link in the notes if you wanted to go check it out, because you can imagine behind me are beautiful gold and white balloons for my birthday with ribbon hanging down in the hotel in Bali in the resort. And in point number two, I'm going to talk more about that, but let's go through these three ways that basically the three secrets to a great birthday. So the first one is choose yourself. This was the day you were born, your parents, what, or parent, your mom, whatever the circumstances being, this was a very special day in the world that you were born. And even if you feel like you weren't born to loving parents, or there were specific circumstances that made you feel unloved as a baby, there is a purpose for you being here. So today you need to choose yourself, choose to slow down. Ideally choose to take the whole day off because today is your special day. And so for me, this this time I'm away, but today our our only task is to lay in a cabana by a pool. Um, since I'm not feeling well, we decided not to travel today and to just to just chill. And the hardest decision is going to be: Do I have a raspberry sizzler, a spritzer? I can't even remember the names. Or a trade winds, which is kind of like both now non-alcoholic, but trade winds is kind of like a coconut uh, frozen drink. That's going to be my hardest decision today. Which which one? Or do I read or do I go in the pool? You may not be uh, able to slow down or take the day off for your birthday, but could you do a day in lieu of? So if your birthday is during a weekday and you can't take the day off or you've already booked things, I try actually to just to book my birthday off. So no meetings, no commitments, nothing. So I can do whatever I want on my birthday. <clears throat> and if you can't, then is there a Saturday or a Sunday you could do that instead? Or are you able to have a longer lunch, a slower start to your day, an earlier finish? Is there a way that the day can feel really special? So choose yourself, slow down, take the day off. Um, in Canada, actually, there is now a holiday on September 30th, um, which is our, our Indigenous day. Um, I'll share a little bit about that. So you may know it as Orange Shirt Day or the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation for the Atrocities and multi-generational effects of Canadians the on the Indigenous peoples. And so it's actually my birthday has become a holiday, which which means it's it's aside from this meaning for this day, I used to take the day off and have it by myself. And then my kids were home. 
And so I would look to have another day in lieu of to be able to be alone or my husband would be home with our kids. And so choose yourself on this day. Don't choose your clients. Don't choose work. Don't choose even like family responsibilities. See if you can take the day off completely. I think that's really important because if you are a high achieving driven woman like me, then you probably don't slow down very often and you don't make a day about you. The second point is to share what you'd like. And so I, I like really love birthdays and I love them for other people. I love them for myself. They're a really special day. And what I found was my husband, he doesn't really care about birthdays for himself. And so he feels that way for others as well. And so I had to really share what I wanted because I, year after year, was just being disappointed. And so what I ended up doing was kind of taking my birthday into my own hands. And I would have, because I had at the time I had a past, you know, so many years, I had a really big dynamic women um, in-person community. And so I'd say, okay, everyone, we're going to meet for breakfast at Denny's or IHOP or whatever it was. And then um, lunch at this restaurant and then dinner at this restaurant. It wasn't always on my birthday, but that really allowed people to come together. And that's what I want. Like, I don't need all the presents. I just want to be around people who like me and people who are my friends and people who care for me. Uh, That's really important. So get clear on what you want. So are you wanting a big lavish party Are you wanting a day to yourself at the spa? Do you want dinner out? Do you want dinner in? Do you want like casual time? Do you want a few friends over? Do you want just your family? Sit with that and ask yourself, what do I really want for my birthday? Now I'm here in Bali and I was thinking like, what I really want is just to, just to have some people around me, um, to feel cared for and, I saw this this ability there was a poster from from the Hilton Resort that said like you can get balloons for a birthday person and I looked at Tanya who has been my travel buddy and my friend uh, my travel buddy for three weeks but my friend for longer and I said I don't need that because I was looking at the cost but I think secretly I wanted it (laughs) I was like I don't need that I don't need that And so I thought I was clear on that because I didn't want her to like waste her money on it because she's such a kind person. And then I come in the room and it's, it's decorated and above my bed, and you'll see some photos online with this, that above my bed, it says happy birthday. And I actually teared up and there's, there's a video of it. I don't know if I'm going to share it, but anyway, I teared up because I felt so loved and special. And so that is, if you think of it, like I wasn't clear on what I wanted and I wanted people, I wanted people to say happy birthday to me. And so it was really nice that she did that. And there were some people hiding in the room, (laughs) um, as a day and Ronnie and then Claudine and Michael and then Cody came. And these are all people from CAPS Canadian Association of Professional Speakers. Cause we're here for GSS global speakers, speaker summit. And they were in the room and they were like, surprise. It was lovely. And just that moment of like surprise. And it was just really special. And so now these last couple of days here, we get to have balloons in our room and, and and I feel special and and I'm glad, so glad that Tanya did it because it was really, really kind of her. So that's the second one. Share what you'd like, but you have to first get really clear on what you'd like. And the first one was choose yourself. And the third one is receive the love. Receive the love from others. They're going to wish you a happy birthday. Please don't keep your birthday a secret. Tell other people it's your birthday. Facebook does a good job of, of telling people it's your birthday, kind of like if you're noticing, if people are noticing that. And usually once one person says happy birthday, it, it gets some traction and everybody's wishing you a happy birthday. And since I'm in Bali right now, my birthday is actually sooner than my friends back home in Canada. So 
I get to kind of celebrate my birthday twice, once now with the people that are here. And then once again, online, when everyone is awake on my actual birthday, um, which for them would be tomorrow as I'm recording this. So receive the love, tell others that it's your birthday and then let them shower you with love. And it just even is birthday messages. Happy birthday. Doesn't have to be like, again, lavish gifts or whatever. But just to have that, that care. And it was so nice at breakfast today, people saying happy birthday and giving me hugs. And last night, people wishing me a happy birthday for today because they were going to see me. Oh, you see why I need to rest? I need to get over this head cold. So receive. And that's not, it's not an easy thing to do, especially for people that are caretakers of others, not even meaning like full on caring, being a caretaker for others. I'm like, you're constant. I'm saying you're constantly like looking to how you can help others and care for others. And you don't, you don't need to today. You get to let them reciprocate all that you've done. And so let some of the responsibility go. And that's really the way that these three secrets are going to help you have a great birthday. So I hope you remember these things for when you have your birthday, that you choose yourself, you slow down, you take the time off, that you share what you'd like, you get super clear on it first and then let others know. And then you receive the love. You let others shower you with love because you're special and your birthday is a time that others get to celebrate you. Don't deny them of that privilege. And uh, there's a special this week. The special is around, I'm turning 40, I've turned 45. And so a lot of my programs I'm putting as a special promo this week only of 45% off, or I'm just making the price $45. So snap that up. And for all my outside of Canada friends, it's in Canadian dollars. So that's, that's an even better better deal for you. Um, but for my Canadian friends, it's still amazing because 45% off is almost half, right? Almost half. But anyway, it's going to be this week. The link will be in the notes. Um, so you can check it out, uh, share this with a friend, subscribe, and make sure that you are doing these things for your own birthday and loving on others when it's theirs until next time. Stay dynamic. Bye.